I'm back in the garden. Um, I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to play around with my tent, which I haven't done for absolutely ages. I'm going to throw down um, my poncho tarp just to protect the bottom of the tent. The grass is still damp, and you probably can see there's um, snow still kind of clinging to the grass. It's been cold over the past few days. Um, not very enticing for being outdoors. <laughs> Even the running and the biking has made it into the garage. Uh, so it just shows you how things are going at the moment. But I'm going to throw the tent up and have a play and then put it back down again and put it away. Right, let's have some fun. And you get to watch me. That's the best bit. So get this out of the way for the moment. Tend to keep tent and poles separate. Don't put them in the same bag if I can help it. And like I said, I'm just throwing down a poncho tarp just to give a bit of ground protection. Won't completely cover the area that the tent uses. The first thing will be to get the fly out of here and put the poles through. Take those up. There are three poles in this tent. The black bit is the inner fly. Yeah. The red bit is the outer fly. And the poles go through the outer fly on this tent. There are, like I said, three poles. Two long, one shorter. Now this tent hasn't had a lot of use. It was bought and then I pretty much stopped camping. Yeah. Just got out of the habit. All right, now if I remember rightly, the blue ones, blue ones, and the red ones, the red ones, the short ones, got a slight shape to it. So that one goes over the top. The blue ones, snap through together and it's even marked on the the entrance to the that's the pole run Push the one through. It's got a light shape to it. I mean, the red one is marked red. It's, uh, it's no nonsense. Can't get this wrong kind of tent. No. Just ease your way through. Don't push too hard, there's no need to. All you're doing is guiding your poles through, middle into the middle. And the objective is these points on the end. There are catches and there's triangular plastic pieces at the bottom. No tensioner on that one. get it on before I pulled the wrong one. Uh, 
needs the tensioner off. Put the pole in. Find it at this end. Simples. So there we bring you, very quickly, show you the inside and the outer fly. Now the inner fly attaches to these hook points and that's what we're going to do now. Peace. Come on. And that's it. Bring it down. It's just giving it an air in. I put the shoes out, keep the grass out. So there's actually place for the door stay. No need it. Nice side pockets. Cold floor. <laughs> this is where you need your pad. Yeah, and a damn good sleeping bag. Feels good. Be nice to get this back out proper proper. <sighs> Go and play in the real world with it rather than the garden. Just to show the guys, I use my that snakes for the guys. So it's simple enough to tie these. Bright yellow colour. I'm sure the missus is loving that. Loving the yellows. Oh, come on, fingers. Cold. No, quick wander around. Front door. Yeah, these are the front guys. That's not cinched in right though. You should always aim to get canvas taut. So you don't flap about at night. Looking good. Back guy. Sides. 
and the front guys. Very nice. Yeah. Inside. Just bad enough room really for one man. <laughs> Even though this is marketed as a two man tent, you could potentially get two men lying next to each other, but you would get no kit in there whatsoever. So uh, two man is one man with his kit. Yeah. In a door here. Right. Nice good with this. As you set venting, there's even vent control here at the top. Yeah. You can go from a, a winter tent to a summer tent. Right. This will uh, give you four seasons. Nice, very nice. Love this tent, just didn't get to use it enough. I mean, it's clean enough, apart from the old bit of dirt, and I've probably got most of that on it now. It's almost say it was brand new. Yeah. Right, fold down, 